BO2 is ruined for one obvious reason. Hackers. Well, your boy got into a lobby and a modder teleported everyone to him and simply said, aim and knife. And just like that, everyone had access to their own mod menu. So today we're going into a custom match and seeing what kind of things a modder can actually do. Because as we all know, 95% of them go into a public match to use aimbot and god mode just to ruin everyone's day. Yeah, I'm not going to be that guy. Me personally, I hate this kind of stuff now. Younger me would have absolutely loved it because way back then, it was so rare to come across someone with a mod menu, you know, actually doing cool things. But yeah, if you guys do enjoy it and want to see me revisit, visit some older Call of Duty games, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notifications. Now let's see what modded Blobs 2 has to offer. All right, we're going to set the time and score limit to unlimited, throw in nine enemy bots, and we'll start this off on Nuketown. I would love to try and encourage people not to use mod menus. They're just way too easy to get now, and Call of Duty 100% isn't going to do anything about it. So my voice means absolutely nothing here. So these things are actually extremely easy to open. All you got to do is aim and knife at the same time. In main mods, we have the mods that'll actually ruin someone's day. We have God Mode, which obviously makes you invincible. Quick Mods puts these boxes around all the players. With infinite ammo, you can literally just spray without having to reload once. The speed lets you run super fast. You can mess with your account stats as well as change player health. All right, this one's pretty sick. This is 160 FOV Call of Duty. I can literally see the entire map. Other than that, you can unlock all achievements, no clip, teleport, change class, change team. We got to try out this rapid fire. So this is the normal MTAR fire rate, and this is it with rapid fire. Oh my goodness! A rapid fire small is crazy. Other than that, we have this multi jump, which is pretty cool, I guess. Now, if we go into gangsta mods, we have a health bar, a jetpack. Hold up, what is this? Bro, what? Nah, that's crazy. Earthquake literally just shakes the whole entire map. Shoot to spawn AGRs. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of AGRs. Hold LT to move things. I can literally pick up people. Okay, advanced forge mode, left to create care package, up to move object, and right to delete the object. So yeah, you can literally play Minecraft in BO2 if you wanted to. What is spec nade? It gives you like a grenade POV. Kobe! lightsabers bro i can't lie this is pretty sick there is an option to kill campers you can get perks from cod zombies like electric cherry and phd flopper see if it works it works all right phd flopper let's see it yep also works okay so the rambo mod just straight up gives you a death machine i'm so confused right now typewriter rt and lt scroll oh so typewriter lets you type whatever you want to the lobby ride hunter killer let's see this Yep, okay, so you literally just ride on top of a hunter killer. <laughs> Obviously, with maps, you could just change the map to whatever you want. We also have the section for visions. So we have enhance, we have light, black and white, thermal, EMP, a flash troll, which just flashes the screen for a second. And then I don't really know what these two do besides turn everything black and white. Then, of course, we got a weapon section. What is glitch weapons? Default gun. Oh, okay, okay. So you literally just shoot VTOL warship missiles. Bang, bang, bang. This right here is the iPad mod. And then finally, we have the CSGO knife. But now if we go down to modded weapons, we have some pretty insane stuff. So the ray gun is just the executioner that shoots a little green line behind it. The ray gun Mark II, pretty much the same exact thing. The Mark III just flat out shoots a Hellstorm missile. And the Mark IV is nothing too special. Right here, we got the EMP blaster. It just launches a nuke! With the rocket teleporter, you are literally playing Fortnite. The super magnum is pretty much just the annihilator from BO3. This right here is a thunder gun. And finally, we have the good old Mustang and Sally. In the camo section, you can literally give anyone any camo, even if it's a DLC. All right, player effects. Riot Man covers your whole body in riot shields. Electric Man just leaves this trail of electricity behind you. Smoke Man will cover the whole map in fog. Yeah, I think y'all get the point of this section. Game settings allows you to restart the game or end it. There's an anti-quit option as well as a pause game option. You can change how players jump if you really wanted to. The sounds page pretty much just lets you play any sound from the game. Once again, in messages, you can pretty much say whatever you want to the lobby. Be quiet, you stupid poop head. And here is where things get pretty interesting. The aimbot menu. What is as a aimbot? Realistic trick shot aimbot on. I did not even know that was a thing. Well, let's try it out, I guess. Okay, it works. So I guess your bullet just has to be semi close to the person. Like this guy right here. All right, TS aimbot. Pretty sure this is just another trick shot aimbot. Maybe a little bit more unfair. Okay, so this one I can aim at literally nothing and still get kills. Legit aimbot, no aim. Yeah, with this one, you literally just have to hold down the trigger. It's actually disgusting that people just do this on public matches. I'm assuming legit aimbot is the same exact thing, except you just have to aim. So here's no aim, and here's aim. Yep. I'm pretty sure every time I change the map, the score limit just goes back to 75. And of course, with unfair aimbot, it literally just completely locks on players. Nobody stands a chance. With the bullets menu, you can change your bullets to whatever. I feel like this is going to break the game. They have dog bullets.
There are dogs everywhere. Of course, you're able to change your player model. So right now I'm a dog. Bro, why does the game keep ending? You can go as this box man, a sentry gun, a trophy system, a white vehicle, a hunter killer drone, a bomb, a bomb site, a blown up bomb site, even a whole train track. I am a VTOL warship right now. Besides that, you can give yourself whatever score streak you want. Your boy is on a mission right now. This is outside of raid, by the way. A VTOL spaceship. Shoot to spawn in crosshairs. Shoot to launch. What is about to happen? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so if you ever want to launch a spaceship in Call of Duty, that is the way to do it. What is a wave menu? Okay, so it just makes objects move in a wave motion. A flyable jet. Set jet's model to UAV. Ride on jet. Call of Duty has now become Battlefield. All right, we just called in a flyable heli. R1 ascend. Okay, so now we're making it casually rain missiles. Exploding sky. Along with the models, we can also spawn in moving models. Okay, shoot to spin the vehicle. So even though the sky is absolutely insane, it still gives us a rain menu. Rain missiles. Rain dogs. Rain choppers. Oh, the game just crashed. Too many entities. What is a strafe run? I don't even know what that means. Oh, wow. It's just an army of stealth choppers from above. A sky plaza. Where am I? Oh, bro, what even is this? Okay, Sky Plaza just crashed again. All right, let's try the Sky Plaza one more time. Okay, so basically just a ridiculous amount of care packages for no reason. A windmill? Mega airdrop incoming. From where? Holy! All right, so that just poops care packages all over the map. A merry-go-round. Shoot to spawn on a flat surface. Game broke again. All right, MTV, welcome to my crib. Here we have a freaking merry-go-round. Spiral stairs. Okay. Yo, chill. Pack a punch. That just sent me underneath the map. Let's try that one more time. Nope. Okay. It still just sends me under the map. A super bouncing Betty. Look underneath you. Press RB to throw a helicopter. <laughs> okay. So I'm the Hulk right now. That's wild. Let's see this MW2 nuke. Bro, where is it? All right, all that did is just put C4 in my hand. Spawn bunker. I am stuck. I wonder how many ice skaters you can spawn in before the game breaks. So here's our bunker. Oh, that's actually funny. You can fake derank the whole lobby. Or if you really wanted to, you can fake give everyone master prestige. You also have the ability to freeze everyone or even spawn the whole lobby to yourself. What is adventure time? Oh, where is the lobby going? Adventure time. Come on, grab your friends. But yeah, honestly, that's pretty much it. My game just broke. Okay, so the game just restarted and now the menu is completely gone. So don't worry. I will not be cheating in public matches, even though I wouldn't even do that. But yes, I think that's going to conclude this video. Once again, this was all pretty much just for fun, just to see what the modding life was like. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notifications. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Peace out, boys.